Hey guys, today we are going to discuss this problem. It's also a 1800 problem. So as always, we are going to start with the example here. So in the input, um, the first number is the number of test cases. So we have three test cases here. And for each test cases, the first number is the uh, number of the following array. So it's going to have three numbers follow it. So um, three um, pairs of numbers. So here we have three pairs and uh, this is a uh, second test case, also three pairs. And this is the third test case, four pairs of numbers. So let's start with the first test case. So it is uh, the first number is the height of the fence. So its height is two. And if we want to increase the height by one, we are going to pay $4. And the second fence, is, uh, the height, initial height is also two. And uh, if we want to increase the uh, height by one, we are going to pay $1. And the third uh, fence, its, names, uh, its initial height is three. And uh, the cost is $5. So uh, the qu uh, question is that if we want to uh, make the uh, um, adjacent uh, fence not uh, have a different height, uh, what is the minimal cost? So for example, um, in order to have the adjacent uh, uh, fence have different height, well, um, we can um, increase the first uh, fence height by one. So that uh, the first uh, uh, fence has uh, has three, and the second has two. They are different, and the third has three. These two are different. So cool, we got a um, we got a fence uh, suit our needs. So uh, in order to make increase the height of the first uh, fence. By one, we need to pay four. So the total cost of this solution is four. So let's try another solution, uh, which is uh, increase the uh, height of the second fence. Um, in this case, we need to also increase the height of the third um fence right so the total cost is one plus five which is six right so we need to make sure we find the minimal cost so what is the mini cost solution that is we increase the second fence by two right so that uh, uh the adjacent uh, fence are uh, have different uh, heights so uh, this guy has two, this guy has four, they are different. And this guy have two, this guy, uh, this guy have four, this guy have three, so they are different. Um, so in this case, the total cost is two. So all we need to do is the, to output the minimal cost here. So um, the same rule applies to the uh, following two cases. So the uh, minimal cost for the second case is nine. Um, let's try it. So for the second case, the initial uh, height is two, 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 right? It's two, two, two. The cost is three, ten, six. So what is the best solution? 
So the best uh, solutions cost is nine. And uh, let's see if we increase this guy by two, uh, the total cost is six so far. And we want to increase the cost by this one. Mm. Let's see. No, so we only need to increase the uh, height of the first and the third, right? So the adjacent ones are different and the total cost is nine, right? So uh, that's it. So how do we solve this problem? So, uh, so I guess the intuitive way to solve this is use uh, dynamic programming. So if we, um, let's say uh, we have a, a formula like this, and uh, this is the state. So as we can see that uh, if the state uh, is the, uh, for the ice um, fence, and uh, uh, if we have J height uh, on the ice um, fence, Let's say for in this case, a um, one two means for the first fence the height is two, right? Uh, how much? Uh, what's the minimal cost of this state? So, uh, in this case, the minimal cost is zero, right? We don't need to build anything. And uh, what is uh, the value for um, F13? So in order to have the first fence at uh, the uh, height of three, we need to increase the height by one, right? So that the total cost minimal cost is one, uh, actually it's four because uh, the cost is four here. So what about, um, what about F, um, two, two? What is this minimal cost? So obviously, um, in order to, uh, in order for the, uh, in order to make sure the second fence height is two, we need to make sure uh, the first fence height is not two. So the only option is that uh, uh, we increase the first fence by one. And uh, so, uh, the cost of that is uh, determined by this guy. And uh, the total cost is uh, four, right? Because the total cost of this guy is four. And that is how we deduct from the uh, first state uh, to the uh, second state right so uh, we are going to calculate uh, this state by iterate through all of the options of the previous uh, fence and find the optimal option right as long as these two heights are not the same we can choose that option and we are going to choose the minimal cost of all those options. So um, this, uh, the, uh, this dynamic uh, solution works, but uh, the only problem is that we got so many uh, number of heights here. So the, uh, the minimal 
uh, the maximal um, height of a fence is, um, let's see, is 10 to the power of nine is quite, quite big. So we cannot iterate all of those options. So uh, how, how, how are we going to do? So we are going to do, uh, what we are going to do is to find a uh, special pattern in this uh, problem. So uh, because uh, we can find out that uh, the maximal possible uh, fence, we are going to uh, increase the maximal length we are going to increase on each fence is two, right? Why is that? Uh, because um, as we can see in uh, this case, um, let me change your color. Uh, if we have with, uh, three fence, uh, at the same height, the um, one possible uh, one possible option for the first uh, um, fence is to stay as it is, and we increase the second one, right? And the second option for the first fence is to increase by one, and the second one can stay the same. And the third option is that uh, the uh, first uh, uh, first uh, fence can increase by two, and uh, this guy can increase by one, and uh, this guy can stay the same, right? And uh, what about uh, uh, the third, uh, the fourth option, which is uh, increase the first uh, fence height by three. So in this case, uh, we can, the for the uh, second, uh, for the second uh, fence, we can increase it by one. So in this case, why not we just uh, increase by two, right? Because by uh, increase it by, uh, by two, uh, we can make sure that uh, uh, the second uh, uh, fans have all the options he, uh, he wants. And uh, increase by two's cost is surely uh, less than increase by uh, three. So that obviously increase by two is always better than uh, increase by three. And uh, increase by two can cover all the possibilities of following um, following fences uh, because uh, when the um, when the second fence is chosen, uh, how we going to choose the third um, fence is uh, not going to be affected by how we choose the uh, first fence because we only care that uh, these two fence uh, value are different. We don't care these two um, fence uh, relationship, right? So that's why we can be sure that for each fence, we at most increase its length by two, right? Uh, in no situations that we want to increase uh, the fence height uh, by more uh, nuns, right? So with that being said, we can dramatically decrease the size of the uh, of the formula so that we only need to ca uh, calculate three possible states for each uh, fan for each fence, right? So uh, let's took a look at the uh, so on code here. So first I'm going to um, read the number of test cases. 
and I'm going to uh, read the uh, initial height of each fence and also the cost for each fence. And we are going to set the uh, initial states. Um, and then we are going to run the formula here. And uh, uh, for each iteration, we are going to calculate uh, three states for each fence. And uh, um, for each state, let's say if we are going to calculate uh, F I, uh, F I J, we are going to, um, that means we are going to uh, calculate the uh, I's fence and the J's length, right? And the J should be um, in the range of, uh, from the initial uh, fence height to uh, two plus the initial fence height, right? J should be in this range. And uh, these three states are going to be uh, calculated uh, from the uh, from the last fence uh, states, available states. And uh, uh, for each of the states, uh, it's going to choose from the uh, optimal state from the previous uh, three options, right? And uh, uh, in this way, we are going to calculate all of those states. And uh, we are going to use the, uh, use the um, best states in the last fence. Uh, as the final answer, right? Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, my um, my program. Um, th this part of my program is kind of complicated, um, so you don't have to uh, follow this way of my code. Uh, you can just uh, um, devise your own code according to uh, my, my previous explanation. I uh, hope that uh, helps. So see you next time.